Hello folks, Scott Grove here from GroovyMusicLessons.com here to review another one of my new guitars today that I got from Grinning Elk Music Company. Thanks again to Ray for selling me um, my Ace Frehley Les Paul, uh, my new PS10, and my other Iceman back here that I'll be reviewing here shortly. Um, so thanks again, Grinning Elk. Um, gave me a discount on all these and some free kiss gear. Always got to love those guys. Okay, what I am showing you today is the 1992-93. Okay, this is, actually came out, and it's only known, no matter what it says here in the catalogs, as the IC, of course for Iceman, 1000 BK. BK for being black. They made 511 total, and 200 were shipped to the United States. Okay, what this is is the 20th anniversary, and 20th anniversary meaning the 20th anniversary of KISS, nothing else. Um, so there you go. Um, KISS was actually, of course, Wicked Lester before, after Ace uh, joined up in early, 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 early 93, they changed the name to KISS. So you had Gene and Paul left over. From Wicked Lester, they hired on Peter Chris, late 90, I'm sorry, late 72, and then early 73, Ace came in, and they changed the name to Kiss, and the rest is Kistry. Okay, so that's why these were made in 92 and 93, celebrating 72 and 73 of Kiss. So that's the only reason this was made, and it just as a tribute. Okay, so you have the... Um, fake mirror or fake chrome thing so it's just a mirrored stuff here okay so just mirrored plastic the original PS10s were the only ones that actually had chrome on them all the rest have been mirrored plastic much like of course well exactly like the 95 PS10 limited okay so that was 95 and then in 96 they came out with the PS10 classic Paul Stanley bought up all the limiteds and all the classics very shortly after they were released and you could buy them directly through him only and then he quit selling them and nobody knows what happened to them so I'm missing the classic uh, if anybody has one let me know I'll buy it uh, as long as it's perfect um, so these will be all of the except for the 1977 that he had made and the mirrored one um, they made the original PS10s in 77 for Paul, and then 78, 79, 80, and 81 for the public. Okay? And nobody, there was never a PS10 with a mirror, broken mirror top, other than what they made for Paul. So, if you have one, it has been done later, and it was not an Ibanez issue. Okay, so these have the V1 pickup in the neck, the V2 here the Gibraltar Bridge, the quick change tailpiece the uh, Gibraltar Bridge they changed slightly for this from all the others so take a look at that for all you people who have PS10's the only other PS10 in existence was the PS10 2 which was a Korean model all the others were made in Japan and the PS10 2 is the least valuable and the crappiest guitar actually okay of course the typical set neck. Uh, the binding has turned to the cream color. Okay, your sure grip knobs, the typical volume volume then master tone, three-way switch, all the abalone everywhere. Okay, and the mother of pearl and abalone switch back and forth, fret markers on the ebony fingerboard, you have a mahogany body, maple top, uh, three-piece maple neck, 24 and three-quarter inch scale, again ebony fingerboard, and the pearl or the mop buttons, the mother of pearl looking things up here. Okay, so that's the X. Everything is beautiful on it. Now that I, it was almost perfect condition when I bought it from Grinning Elk. Now it is in perfect condition thanks to my scratch remover. So there are no scratches at all. So it brought it right back to 100% mint condition. Uh, that, that scratch remover is brilliant no matter what other people that 
don't know how to use it. <laughs> I've done reviews on and I will be doing a review on that at some point soon because it's a nice thing to have around. Okay, so let's just check out the guitar quickly. I'm not going to drag it out like normal. Um, okay, so clean. I mean, this just kicks butt so much more than the Les Paul custom shop that I just reviewed um, in every single way. It plays better, feels better, definitely sounds better, much better pickups. And of course, these are just the Ibanez V series. Again, the V1 in the neck, V2 in the bridge. That's both pickup songs. I'm not going through the tube amp today. Why? Because it does not sound nearly as good as the Johnson Millennium. So I'm not going to uh, kill your ears anymore by playing through the tube amps. <laughs> a little more with my volume pedal. Okay, so it does break up nice. Um, going to the neck position, the V1. what it's supposed to. <laughs> it's a real it's a real guitar by golly. Um, so there it is clean. Okay and let's see. Let's go to just straight distortion uh, going to the V2 and the bridge. Go back to the Elder album with a little I if you remember that song. show it to you because why because I invented it and it's neat Thank <laughs> you. 
created this so I'd actually get a different tone at the bottom of the whammy. And this is still all just in the amp. There's no external f pedals except for my Morley volume. So this is just the J12 controller going through my Johnson amp. So, of course, Digitech created is who makes these amps. Somebody from Digitech made the Johnsons. So, of course, the whammy stuff is in here and you can program it to do anything you want. So I actually programmed the uh, pedal, one of the pedals, to actually go down, of course, an octave and one to go up an octave. And when it bottoms out, then I actually have this tone change so that it sounds like it's almost like a record actually having been slowed down. So like a 78 record, the old one's slowed down to about a 33. So you can hear here the tone actually changes. has nothing to do with anything, but I'm just proud of the patch. <laughs> people will have unfortunately but the classic is the hardest one to find um, so anyway a quick rundown one last time um, the whole entire PS10 and uh, related things again the PS10 was originally done 1977 uh, for Paul Stanley uh, 78 79 80 and 81 you could buy them um, no mirrored ones were made except for Paul and um, then the PS10 II came out from Korea. Then this one came out for the 20th anniversary, the 92, 93. Um, then 94 they put out in Japan the smaller body, Iceman, the IC500 had a bunch of pearl binding around it, pearl pit guard, you know, mother of pearl looking thing, actually mother of toilet seat. So. Um, cool things but they were made for the uh, Asians who are smaller uh, Greco still makes them you know but the Iceman looking things they call them the Mirage they're all still made in the same factory as these so um, even way back then in 78 uh, they were making the Greco Mirages in the same plant and Ibanez and they're the same guitar <laughs> but then they started making the smaller body ones which is what the IC 500 is then right after that um, came this one and then right after that it was time for the KISS reunion tour so that's where the limited that I showed you with the gold on it and the classic both showed up uh, 95 for the limited 96 for the classic Paul Stanley bought them all you could buy a few from them and then it's a mystery to the world what happened to them all oddly enough so um, those are the gold one here well the one with the gold hardware again the limited is fairly easy to find used but the classics are almost impossible again if anybody has one please sell it to me I'll pay you what you need for it if it's perfect again both pickups clean <laughs> okay just so um yeah I have to desecrate this guitar <laughs> Okay, so there's the Ibanez PS10. <laughs> Actually, the IC1000BK, if you want to be correct, 20th anniversary, 1992 and 1993. Okay, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of KISS. Again, these are made in Japan. If you need a serial number, if you can find it back there, let me get my monitor here. Um, there's a serial number for you. Okay. Again, avoid the... Uh, I may get it just to have in the collection, but it would just be a waste of money just to have the whole collection of the PS10s. The um, PS10 too, but anyway, this is superb axe. Can't say enough about it. It just sounds great. Plays 
flipping amazing, nice thin neck, and it has the volute, so the neck has less of a chance of breaking, unlike a Les Paul. Um, and I've told you everything about it, so there you go. Just a superb axe. Don't ever worry about spending a dime on this because um, every dime is well spent. Um, what I spent, I spent three thousand for this one. Okay. So if you want to know, I'm always happy to tell you. And so that's what I spent. So there you go. I'm taking her down and let you get one more good look at the, uh, which you haven't got to see yet, the neck joint. Okay, is this type of thing, the more modern stylized Ivan is very comfort comfort comfortable to play there again unlike a Les Paul so this is ten times the guitar for one third the price than that Les Paul was okay amazing 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 axe so more than proud to have this and more than proud to be able to play it since it had already been played before I'm going to play the damn thing and baby it of course so scott grove groovy music lessons.com come by me get some come by the website <laughs> i get my tongue out of my way uh get all your free lessons get your paid lessons get whatever you want um there's reviews on every single guitar that i have or have had in the past seven eight years on there so you can always do that you can always check what my current guitars are get the stories on those get like i said tons of free lessons um website links to websites where people are cool and sell cool stuff and so forth so just check it out there's more on there than you can imagine uh, take care and get yourself one of these uh, get two <laughs> why not okay talk to you later bye bye